Hi everyone, welcome to day seven of your science challenge. I'm going to give you a really short one today to take you into the weekend, um, but hopefully it'll work and hopefully you'll have a good time doing it. I'm going to call it disco in a glass. Okay, hopefully you'll see why. Right, what I've got here is a glass of water. Okay, just plain water, about half full. I'm going to add to that glass some raisins. Okay, they should sink, they do. I'm then going to add some peanuts. Mixture of floating and uh, sinking, most of them should float. Right, then I'm gonna add some baking powder, just regular baking powder that you've got from your cupboards, okay? I'm gonna pop it in there and then just give it a bit of a shake around. Unfortunately, this does make your glass a little bit cloudy, um, but we should still be able to see a few things going on. Okay, just gonna try and get that to dissolve as much as possible. Okay, I think it's all gone. Right, okay, so I can see a few peanuts and I can see a few raisins, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some vinegar. So this is just regular malt vinegar. I'm just gonna add a squirt of vinegar, okay. And then hopefully we should start to see a few things happening in here, okay. Just gonna give it a bit more of a stir. Okay, so hopefully you should see your peanuts and your raisins dance around um, and that might go on for quite some time. So just give it a watch and see what happens. See if you can work out the science behind it. Why are these things moving around? Why are the raisins going up and down um, and things like that? If you haven't got peanuts or raisins, sub in for anything small like sultanas or currants or uh, pea, um, popcorn kernels, anything like that. Okay, all right, have a go. See how you get on.